<laughs> we were all singing but, but with look, you. Look, God, God put this together for somebody. Yes. Some buddies, lots of buddies. Amen. <laughs> Lots of he bodies and she bodies and little bodies and big bodies and all bodies and pretty bodies. Everybody. God put this deal together for you. Oh, man. There we saw Jesus in a vision. Right after that, the wonderful man of God, Brother William Branham, came to town. A lot of people misunderstand him, but forget that. He, oh, he was used of God. Wonderful. And I, I respect wonderful. that. He came and... and, and I was a nice guy, I wouldn't go, because I heard that he wasn't just exactly right. God bless this little lady. Yes, that idea came through my head. No. <laughs> what did you, why did you leave me? Because I was searching too, you remember. Yeah, yeah. we had been to India. I mean, you failed in India, if you remember, I didn't, but you Oh, did. come on. <laughs> you went to change India. I went to change your sheets and to feed you and to minister to you and I succeeded. I did it royally. <laughs> you, think I did? you did terrific. <laughs> <laughs> but when we came back I was hungry and I was searching too. Yeah, see we'd been there as missionaries and we failed. Yeah. We felt we fa excuse me. You say you didn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> well I had but, I had but, a new new life coming up too. Let me yeah. say this about when Jesus appeared to T L. I have to throw this in because there's women out there that feel just like I do and there's men out there. You know, a lot of men like me. Oh, yeah, I they like really you. do. I do. I like you. Yeah, I'm really a man's woman. <laughs> but when Jesus appeared to him, and here I had been fasting and praying as much as he had, and I had the two babies. And the T L Osborne of that epoch you know, he just didn't, wasn't too involved in housework and babies and all that. He, he was reserved for the ministry. Where I could be in the ministry and do all this. I see. You see. You I'm, understand I'm, this, yes. don't you? Yes. He's uh -huh. learned that dishwashing he's is learned, ministry. Yes, and he's learned. <laughs> <laughs> he ministers to the minister also. <laughs> but see, when he tells me that Jesus appeared and all that Jesus told him, and I'm thrilled because this is wonderful. But I'm thinking, two will be sleeping in a bed. <laughs> One will be taken, the other left behind, and you know who was left behind. <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> so I continued my search for another two weeks, and he keeps saying, honey, you've got to eat. You've got to eat. Well, he never told me before you've got to eat. He said, you've got to fast. <laughs> so I kept on fasting and kept on praying until the Lord talked to me. That's why, see, I go with TL. I go before TL. I go with TL. I go after TL. But it was a choice for me. Mm -hmm. To this day, he hasn't formally invited me to go with him. Really? No. I chose to go. Uh, mm. Okay. Yes. Now, you decided to go visit. And I remember when mm. Brother Branham ministry began so to, to I was rise. hungry too and see they were telling what was happening down well, there we were all told yes. not to go yeah. to his meeting yeah. because he was not approved by my Ooh. denomination Ooh. now but but you you went against the grain I did. and you did you go by yourself I went by time? myself with and an 85 year old woman in our church but what was awful we were the host pastors of the Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana district, and all the preachers had come to our church, the headquarters. We were good. We were the presbyters. We, I was the secretary district. They was going to lower the voting age to make me superintendent. Really? I was good. <laughs> But I had to be among the plug, the, the club. The plugs. <laughs> That's a true. Plug. More truth than poetry there. <laughs> good for you. Uh, work to work. So, excuse me for butting in, honey. Well, that but, was a good but, but we, they had sent us to India, and we had come back failures. Mm -hmm. And we knew if we could have miracles, those masses, that's what they needed. And we didn't know how. And here was a man in town doing it. Daisy. And Daisy said, hey, you can stay at this outfit if you want to. I'm going. What was, what was that first meeting like? What did you see Portland, at that Portland, Oregon. Brand well, meeting? I went with this old woman, 85 years old. It still seems old to me, 85, but it, it may not be later on, but it still seems old. <laughs> <laughs> and she was the only person I could interest in going with me. So she went with me. And when we got to the auditorium, of course, there were thousands of people in the street. And you know, Oregon. If it's not raining, it's gonna. Yes. And it was raining, and everybody had their umbrellas, but they were singing <laughs> these old hymns. 
<laughs> and they were singing uh, where the healing waters flow and the great physician and only believe and all, all those old songs. They were singing them. And so we were worshiping just outside that auditorium. And, you know, it was wonderful. I had never felt anything like it in my life. I mean, this was a better feeling than I had ever had since I got saved. And we went in. When they opened the doors, they only left the doors open for about 40 minutes. We surged in. And, of course, I'm a little more aggressive in a situation like that. You know how women are at sales. <laughs> well, I was going to get a good seat. So I pushed in, and we got pretty good seats just right up from the platform where I could see right down everything that happened. I was just right up from Brother Branham, just on the first gallery. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, he preached that night. And oh, well, his preached. subject was, where does sickness come from? Well, you know, it seemed uh, kind of a foolish question. Everybody knows you get it. I mean, I got mumps and gave it to everybody in the family. I got measles and passed it around. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get chicken pox and you, you know, you're general. You ever, everybody catches something. So you catch it. It's bacteria. It's germs. I mean, everybody knew that. But where does sickness come from? And he started in Genesis mm -hmm. and told where disease comes from. It's the first time in my life I ever heard that Satan had anything to do oh, yeah. with disease. And how it was the devil and the, the fall of the human race that caused, this, caused sin and sickness to enter the human race. And then he takes us all the way to Calvary and through redemption. I had never heard it in my life. And, of course, i got a good memory. And I'm chalking all this up and I'm being transformed. Mm -hmm. And he's back there. He's kind of traditional. Mm -hmm. And he's very ethical and polite. T.L. now. Yes, yes, this I man know. here. <clears throat> but I went home. And he got home about the same time and got the, ch the children were already in bed. And I said, honey, I'm going to put on some tea. I want to tell you what happened. Now. And I preached the whole sermon to Teal. Mm -hmm. He sat there and cried and it made sense to him. Now you can tell it transformed well, his life. Mm -hmm. We went the next night. And that's the second vision. I saw Jesus in that man. Really? And I found out Jesus works through people. Mm -hmm. I saw Jesus in that man. And everything that See, he this did. is the progression now, that everybody has to do. First, it's a revelation of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Then you see Jesus in people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, everybody was concerned about his gift. He, you know, he had a very remarkable gift. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to go into that. But in a, I wasn't attracted to the gift. Mm -hmm. What I was attracted, everything that That's he was it. doing seemed like it pointed me you? right to the Word of God. Ten thousand voices whirled over my head and said, you can do that, you can do that. That's what Peter did. That's what Paul did. It. That's what the Bible did. That proves the Bible works today. Wow! I saw Jesus in a man. Mm. Well, then we went home and we said, hey, let's make a pack. We sat at that table again. We said, we're going to take that book and we're going to read the Gospels as though we never read it before mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. okay. So here a woman had come in. He, he keeps saying he saw Jesus in a man, but a woman yeah. had preached and Jesus came to him yeah. as a result of this yeah. woman. Yeah. And then a man came demonstrating. Yes. To so this woman. Here, here was a woman and, and a man a woman already. In that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I get, I get out of this that I think we're going to skip over, but we shouldn't. If you had not, broken out of that mold. Oh, Jen, yeah. How many oh, people true. would be oh, in that's hell true. today that's true. around oh, the world that's true. if you hadn't said that's it true. doesn't matter that's what true. my denomination, it doesn't matter what they say, it doesn't matter that's what they right. say I can go that's or right. not. I will mm -hmm. see Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. And you Amen. said that and did it. Yep. And there are millions and millions yeah. and millions Healed and in heaven today. That's that right. wouldn't be. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh. And in following Christ, everybody comes to that point. You have to break out of a mold. Yes. Are you doing it boy, for that's, man? That's it. Well, that's true. Uh, are you doing it for Jesus? Oh boy. In or out of the club? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, so then that. So we read that, and that's when we begin to discover the wonderful promises of Praise Jesus God. that are so simple, so simple. Like we saw, we had a third vision. We saw Jesus in his in word. word. Yes, yeah, see, we decided to read this like we'd never heard it in our life. Forget Sunday school. Forget all we'd heard. Yeah. Start fresh. And, and our pledge was, I forgot to say, we said, and everything Jesus tells us to do, let's do it. Oh, yes. And everything Jesus said he'll do, 
Let's expect him to do it. Yes. <laughs> we found Jesus oh, in the world. So oh, then God. we went to the newspaper and the radio, no TV at that time, and we made big announcements. We went and everybody public. thought we were fools, you know, and thought we were audacious. <laughs> we told him to come. We were convinced. And I'll tell you, that old Montevilla Tabernacle was packed out. It was out. swaying. What did it you say? Come. Oh, come, and bring come your and sick, bring, bring the your blind, cripples, the bring the blind. Bring Jesus is at Montevilla oh. Tabernacle. Oh, boy, boy. And I tell you, when it was over... Another one of those things. We lined them up and did what this did and what that guy That's did. That's right. Yes. <laughs> and we found out we had our fourth vision. And it worked. We discovered and it Jesus in us. us. He worked. And we've been letting him work. And we ever each since. took a line. Oh yeah. He oh, took yeah. a line, and I oh, took yeah. a line. I mean, I didn't just stand there and look at him. Uh, <laughs> you found he could work through women as well. well yes. Yes. Oh, I get excited about oh, that. Paul and Jim, that's a special. Hallelujah.